Welcome to video 20 in a series of introductory videos for SolidCam. This video's topic is the cutoff toolpath, or more commonly called the part off operation. So you can get to either any of the turning operations by going to SolidCam turning, and in this case we have cutoff right here. The cutoff operation is similar to the face turning operation in that the geometry that we're going to choose is essentially just the Z. Uh, position of this tool, where we'd like to part off the tool. And uh, for reference, the face turning operation, that was video 16 in this series. So let's go new geometry. In this case, I've added a couple of tool paths so you can see that the green sketch representing the updated stock already has the outside turning and the internal drilling done. So we're going to just do a part off at this point right here, green check mark. As always, with any turning operation, we go to modify geometry. And we can modify this geometry. Uh, the auto extend at the start, I'm going to leave on because I want it to go to the updated stock right there. Uh, I could click on the auto extend to stock at the end, but it would just take it to the drill point. And in a part off, we might want to go past that. So I'm just going to turn that off and put in, let's say, 200 thou. And the yellow line, seeing that it goes right past that drill point, we can be reasonably sure that it will part off and it won't leave anything behind on either the part or the uh, resulting bar stock. So green check mark. We go to tool. For your part off, your cut off, you can use a grooving tool. And for the simplicity of the video, I'm not going to go and make sure my shank has a proper neck length or anything like that. I'm just going to use the insert only option, meaning that if we look at the tool picture, all we're looking at is the insert itself. Okay. And then when I go to this window, check my mounting, I'm just going to make sure the mounting is correct for that insert. Again, I'm just leaving the shank out because I don't want to go in and do the measurements of if the neck length will fit. Levels, again, are just the safety distance. And under technology, we have the particulars of this, of this tool path. In this case, it is just a, a grooving that goes right through the center or right through to an open area. So we have long external, long internal. The same sort of options you saw with the other tool paths in the turning series. Uh, the geometry that we selected, we can say if we want to go left side of, the of that chain, right side of that chain, or take the tool right down the middle, uh, take the tool's middle right down that chain. I'm just going to stick with left. Uh, we have a single progression down to the center line, or we can do constant, meaning that we'll bring up a step down. I'm just going to go with single. And if we go to the offset, if I want to leave some material on the face of the part as it parts off, maybe when I flip this around for side two, I want to be able to uh, do run a facing operation, the kind of facing operation you saw in video 16. Well, I'm just going to put in an offset of negative 10 thou, meaning I'm just going to add 10 thou in this direction here. And let's do a save and calculate, see what that looks like. So tool path just goes across, down, and exits. If we go to the turning simulation, I'm just going to zoom in on that. So you see we've got our part representation and our updated stock. If I press play on that, it goes right through, left that 10 thou behind. I can face that off when I flip the part around, put it back in the jaws. And that's the simple cutoff or part off operation. The additional parameter you see on the screen is the corner. So as I'm parting off, if I'd like to leave a fillet or a chamfer, that way I don't leave any sharp edges on my part, I can change this from none to let's say chamfer. Chamfer location either on the left side, the right side, or both. Left side, right side indicating either the part that's remaining in the jaws or the right, meaning the part that is about to part off. Or both, meaning that before I completely part this, this tool, this piece off, I'm leaving a chamfer on both sides. So I'm going to set it to both. And you see how I chose chamfer, it opened up the chamfer parameters. But if I had changed it to fillet, it opens up the fillet parameters. So let's go with the chamfer. Chamfers, obviously, you can define either by the, the distances or the angle in the distance. In this case, I'm going to put this at 10 thou, so we can see a nice looking chamfer. Save and calculate. Simulate that once again. Again, just going to zoom in here so we can see the representation. I'm really going to zoom in to where the tool comes in because then we can see that it creates that chamfer. And if I zoom in, you can see that the chamfer was done before it even does the part off. And there you go, you got the chamfers on both sides. Okay, So that is it for the 
cut off or part off toolpath in the turning module and mill turn module. If you have any questions on this or any other toolpaths from SolidCam, you can give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2, or you can see the rest of the videos for explanations on the other toolpaths from SolidCam. Thanks for watching.